everyone. Welcome back to the show, Tip to T. I'm your host, Angie E., where we talk about everything from motivational, inspirational, and of course, the tea. So tune in every Monday on CAN TV and my YouTube channel. Allow me to introduce today's topic. Today's topic will be dating outside of your race. What about you guys? Will you or are you acceptable to date outside your race? And if so, what are some of the characteristics you look for in that significant other or that other person that you decide to date? So what I found out was, I did a little research, and um, what I found out, and I took some notes, some notes and um, I want you guys to come on and um, let's tip the tea. Um, we're going to talk about, like I said, dating outside of your race. What are some of the characteristics that you look for in a person? Uh, you know, is it um, their character? What about the attractiveness? What about the heart? What about religion? One thing that I came up with, what about asking God? Um, oftentimes, we could um, step out of ourselves and forget about asking God to send that significant other or that special someone. What about you guys? Do you step out of yourself and just go ahead and do what you think is right or best for you? Or do you consult with God first? I mean, by, via prayer or just, you know, um, reading your word? Um, like I said, you know, some of, some of the times we do. We step outside of what we supposed to do well I would say what I supposed to do I can't speak for everyone else but I can speak for myself what I do first is I ask God first okay um, and so you know yeah so getting back to the topic uh, dating outside of your race if anyone just tuned in uh, this is tip T with Angie E we're talking about today's topic dating outside of your race will you or are you willing or open-minded to date outside of your race? And if so, like again, what are some of the characteristics that you look for in a person? Um, as I was researching, the first thing that I saw was character. Is character, um, is character very important in a relationship, meaning the, uh, the other person's character? What type of uh, personality um, that they have? Does that really mean a lot? Is that really important um, of dating outside of the race, uh, outside of your race? Uh, what about the attractiveness? The attractiveness, I think, um, from what I saw and the research that I've done, the attractiveness is very important. Um, I saw um, in an ad where they said that um, some people don't look at color. They don't look at race. They don't look at creed. They look specifically, um, they look at the heart, or they look at, you know, are they attractive enough? Or, or can I stand to look at that person? Or something, you know, to that effect, which is really wonderful. And, and I don't, you know, I can't say, you know, that's not cool or whatever. I think it's, you know, in my thoughts, I think it's pretty cool. You know, you have to look at a person's attractiveness. Um, you can, you know, their personality. Personality is very important. You know, how do they handle cert certain, di uh, certain uh, situations? Just say if you're, I'm just giving an example. Um, say if you're out somewhere, or you're, you're just at dinner or doing something like that, and all of a sudden, you know, the person may start like, um, you know, uh, just shut down on you for, for some reason or something like that, if they're holding something in there that they wanted to say uh, a while ago or something, I don't know, and you asking like, what's wrong, are you okay? You was just okay, you know, five minutes ago, now you're shutting down. You know, is that, is that like an issue, you know, with you guys? I think t for me, mm, I think it will be because just giving my opinion on this, my opinion is, you know, let's talk about this. Let's not, you know, even before we go places or do something together, let's make sure that everything is intact and we're, we're on one accord. That's just my thought. That's my synopsis of it. 
Um, what are your synopsis of this? Um, like I said, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about dating outside of your race. This is Edgy E with Tip to T. We're tipping the T about, like I said, dating outside of your race. Uh, what are some of the characteristics that you look for in a person? Or, you know, uh, do you, you know is it personality? Is it character? Um, is it attractiveness, religion? What? You tell me. By the end of the show, I would like to have some comments uh, of, of what's, your, what's your synopsis and your opinion on dating outside of your race. Uh, let's get into, uh, like, like I said, attractiveness. Um, do you feel like when you're dating someone, do you really feel like there should be some attractiveness? Or you can kind of look over, you know, the looks uh, or, you know, like I said, their personality. Um, is there some type of uh, attractiveness or, or something that attracts you first to them? Uh, rather, if it be the way they talk, the way they walk, um, the way they think, you know, um, something like that, you know, or is it just, okay, I don't have to look at, the, you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, I don't have to be attractive, attractive physically to my significant other. Well, okay, well, let's talk about mental attractiveness. Are you um, attractive to their mental state? Uh, meaning, uh, the way they think, the way they handle things, the way they have handle different situations. Uh, does that make a person attractive, you know, when they, they think of something. Or what about when you get in a jam and uh, they, the, 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 you know, the way they think, they think fast, you know, and they think logical. How about that? Um, I think that has a lot to do with something too. Uh, my grandmother used to tell me all the time, two great minds think, al think alike. Um, and I think that's, that's very important. Um, you know, two great minds does think alike, but what about when your significant other you know, they can't think as fast as you, or they can't get you out of, get you guys out of that jam, you know, uh, when, when it's, when need to, when need to. So what do you, what do you, what is your thoughts on that? Um, I think that is very important. When you're with someone and you're in a tight jam, and it can, and you know, sometimes those jams can come immediately. It can just come un unexpectedly. That's what I wanted to say. That's the word I'm trying to find. It can come unexpectedly, all of a sudden. And you can't think real fast. You can't think of, oh my God, how, you know, how am I gonna get out of this jam? Do you, you know, do you um, blow up? Do you, you know, you know, what is it that you do? How do you handle it? Then you may have your significant other may say, may be very calm about it and say, listen, you know, let's do this, this, that, and the other. You know, we don't have to get all, you know, hyped up about it. It's just, you know, a situation. We can you, we could deal with this and we could get out of this and we'll be okay, you know. I think that's very very important um, in in dating, you know, dating period. Whether if you, you know, you're dating outside of your race or, or you know or otherwise. Um, let's talk about the heart. That was one of the um, topics, uh, one of the the uh, bullet points that we could talk about. Let's talk about the heart. Um, dating outside of your race. Do you, what about the heart? What about, um, it doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter, but, but what about their heart? The heart is very important. When I say the heart, I can only give my segment on that, my own opinion. To me, when I'm dating, or if I date outside of my race, it, wasn't, it wouldn't matter to me about race, creed, or color. It's about your heart. How is your heart? I mean, are you, you know, do, are you, do you have a heart for people? That's what I look at. You know, where's your heart really, really at? Um, how, how your, your, your temper, your tempermatic, are you a tempermatic person? Um, if, if I do something that's out of the norm, will you be quick to just judge me, Will you, are you quick to go off? Or are you the type of person that have a heart to say, look, you know, I know she means well, or he means well, let me just overlook that, you know? That's what I think, that's just my opinion on the heart. It doesn't matter about the color, or the creed, or race, like I said before. I think 
having a great heart and consideration to me is everything. I really look at that. That's very important for me. What's important to you? Make sure you leave me a comment below on my YouTube channel. And let's, let's talk about this. I think this should be a two-part segment, and I think it is because I think this is very important. You know, dating outside of your race, what are some of the characteristics you look at? We're talking about the heart right now, the heart of a person, how, how they look at things and how do they handle certain situations and how, how do they look at you as their significant other? You know, are they quick, like I said, when, it, when, a, when something happens or a situation comes up, would they have the heart to love you in spite of you? Even if you're the type of person that don't know how to handle situations, maybe the way that they do. Maybe they're a little bit more calmer than you are. Maybe you just don't know how to handle you know, uh, certain situations, especially those that come just unexpectedly. And they don't know. You don't know how to handle it. Do they have that heart to say, look, you know, hey, I'm here for you, no matter what happens. You know, I think that is the most important thing as well, the heart. The next one, we're going to talk about religion. Uh, dating outside of your race, do you look at the religion of a person? Does that does that define a person to you? How do you look at religion? Is religion very important in dating outside of your race? Make sure you leave me a comment below. I, want, I would like to know. I'm going to get ready to go to a commercial. And when we come back, I want to hear some of your views and your intake on dating outside of your race. Now we're talking about religion. Let's see what your, what your take is on that. This is Angie E. with Tip to T. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone. This is Angie E. with Tip to T. If you or anyone you know in the Chicago Med area and you would like to come out to promote your brand, network, or even if you have an interesting topic you would like to discuss, come on out and be my special guest. Let's tip the tea. For more details about the show, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in my name, Angela Eskridge, and leave me a comment, and I'll get back with you. And you can also catch up on all the previous episodes. So come on out. Let's tip the tea. I'm Angie E. See you soon. Hi, my name is Marla Redrick, and I'm with World Financial Group. We're a division of Transamerica World Financial Services. My name is Jeff King. I'm an associate also with World Financial Group. And if you're an entrepreneur and you want to talk about your business here with Angie E, she'd be happy to have you as well. Super excited. She's a lot of fun, and you'd have a great time and get an opportunity to uh, talk about your brand. So come on out. Check her out on YouTube. Angie E on Tip the Tea. Hello, everyone. I'm Carol Coleman. I'm on the set with Tip the Tea with Angie E. If you want to come on as a special guest, leave a comment below. Come on on the show with Angie E and Tip the Tea. Okay. Also, I am a mental health supervisor. If you need any help, if you're just thinking about it, if you're just thinking about a crisis, please call 1-877-964-1245. They can get you all the help you need. Come on. You don't suffer alone. Hey, I'm Will Sutton, and I'm on Angie E. Tip the T. You can check me out on Tuesdays from 2 to 3 p.m. at Chicago Sports Town Network, and that is every Tuesday, 2 to 3 p.m., or you can follow my Facebook page at William H. Sutton III, or you can follow my Instagram at Sutton Sports. That is with a Z and not an S. That is S-U-T-T-O-N, sports with a Z and not an S. Okay, welcome back to Tip the T. I'm your host, Angie E., where we talk about everything from motivation, inspiration, and of course, the tea. If you're just tuning in, what today's topic we're talking about is dating outside of your race. Now, what we just talked about right before we went to commercial, we talked about religion. Uh, the first thing we talked about was character. We talked about attractiveness. We talked about the heart. So now we're talking about religion. And then I'm going to go back a little bit to um, I wanted to kind of broaden it out to, I left out a few things. Um, 
my significant other, um, he always helped me throughout this whole the show and everything. But he did mention something that was very important. Um, we could talk about what about the um, compatibility, compatibility, what about intellect, and what about passion. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Like I said, this will be a two-part segment. We're going to talk a little bit more about this on part two. And I want you guys to let me know, my viewers, let me know what you think about this segment or this topic about dating outside of your race. Okay, let's get back into where we left off at again before we went to the commercial break about dating outside of your race. We were talking about um, religion. We left off on religion. Do you think religion is very important in, in dating? Um, do how, or if you do, how important do you think that is? Do you think that uh, religion um, being on uh, one accordness, um, just just let's, let's let's go back for a second. Let's we're talking about religion. Uh, let's give like a little bit of an example. Let's say you're dating um, outside of your race or not outside of your race. Let's talk about okay. Say if your significant other um, was was one religion and you were another. Just say, you guys, you know, they, I'm just giving an example. They may be Christian or Jehovah's Witness or something, I don't know. And say that, uh, you're, okay, if you're a Christian, nine times out of ten, I think a lot of Christians go to church. A lot of Jehovah's Witnesses go to like a, a kingdom hall, okay? And just say, um, you guys, say if you guys go on a Sunday. Now, you go in one place and your significant other is going another place for worship or to, you know, praise or whatever. How does that, or do you think that that will affect, do you think that it will have a big effect on your relationship? Um, or how do you think, how do you think you guys can come together when it's time for, I don't know, say for prayer or something? How do you come together on that. I, I would like to hear a lot. I, I need to hear your thoughts and feedback on that. Uh, let's talk about me. Um, I think I think that even if you are, say, in, in, you're dating first off outside of your race, and, and you guys are different, uh, uh, you know, you're different, um, what do they call it, uh, religions or religious, or I don't know, um, I think, to me, I think that it depends on the individual or the individuals, okay? I think that if you guys love each other, but you have to first love God. Now, that, um, I don't know. I, I think, like I said, if you love God first, it doesn't matter the religion, I don't think. But what I will say is, as long as you two love God and that you guys can come together on one accord somehow, and I think it'd even be good to even talk about your different religions or religion, you know, at some point, you know. Let's talk about, um, you know, I think communication is everything. Let's talk about that, okay? I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm not going to really too much discuss or stay on this on this particular um, outline because it could be very broad. I would like to hear you guys point of view on um, religion and dating outside of your race. So let's go back let's go back a little bit about the heart and, and even let's let's touch a little bit on passion, intellect um, yeah the passion and the intellect. Let's, let's talk about that or, or the compatibility. What, what do you feel like, what do you think that compatibility fits in when it comes down to dating or dating outside of your race? Do you feel like it's important to be compatible? I do at some point if you ask me my opinion. I think compatibility has a lot to do with it. 
compatibility. You have to be compatible in some areas, you know. Say, for instance, if, uh, you know, say um, I have goals and I, I like to do one thing and, and my significant other likes to do something else. Or I'll say, uh, well, let's talk about habits or um, uh, pleasures or something. Say, um, I, like to, I like to roller skate. My significant other likes to shoot pool or, you know, something like that. Well, if we can come together um, to be compatible, you know, sometimes we sit down and we can talk about it. Like, you know what, I don't like, you know, he may say to me, I don't like skating, but since you like to skate, I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to try it. Well, I may say, well, you know what, the game of pool is cool, but, you know, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really interested in it. It's kind of boring because it may be because you don't know how or I don't know how to play. But if I did, it probably would be exciting, right? So but when you could come together, I mean, we have shot, uh, went, went to shoot a game of pool together and it was really cool, you know? So I think compatibility, if you could sit down and talk, with your significant other, no matter again what race that you are, what race, creed, or color, I think you know compatibility is everything in a relationship when you're dating. Okay, uh, we're going to touch a little bit about passion. I think passion is good as well. Passion it, it kind of connects a little bit with the heart, you know, the heart, passion, you know, uh, being compassion. I think that all goes together. And I think that's very important. That's just my view of that, point of view on, on that. Uh, intellectual. Let's talk a little bit about intellectual. Um, <laughs> this is, yeah, well, nobody wants, I know I wouldn't want a dummy, you know, a, a significant other, he, you know. But I mean, you know, and he probably wouldn't want the same thing. That's just kind of funny. But anyway, being intellectual, uh, being an intellect, that's, that's very important, I think, you know. Um, you know, we're both, you know, we, and, and it's, it's, even, it's even, even more wonderful when you both have the great intellect, I think. So let me know again um, what you guys think on, on this particular, um, particular topic. Dating outside of your race, what's the most important characteristics that you look for in your significant other? Please leave me a comment below. And let's talk about this. We're going to talk again on the next show. Uh, we're going to talk more. This is going to be a two-part segment. So make sure you share, like, and comment on this video. And let's talk more about dating outside of your race. I'm going to get ready to sign off. This was a very good topic. We're going to do it again. We're going to do a two-part segment on this. And if you're just tuning in, we were talking about dating outside of your race. Let me know, leave a comment on my YouTube channel, and let's talk about this. Let's talk more about dating outside of your race. What are the most significant um, points that you look for in your significant other? Okay, make sure you like, comment, and share again. So, if anyone you know in the Chicagoland area, if you if you looking for a way to, co to connect with me or if you want to be a, a guest on the show, make sure you go to my YouTube channel, type in my name, Angela Eskridge, and leave me a comment below. Also, you can catch me on Can TV as well. For more details about the show, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in my name, Angela Eskridge. Again, leave me a comment below. This is Angie E. with Tip to T. See you next week. We're going to be talking about dating outside of your race. You don't want to miss it. This will be a great topic. See you soon.